Hey guys, this is Spook, and in today's video I'm going to be answering a question that was left on another video yesterday by someone called Gabriel, and he's asked, can you make a trap base where one door is constantly open, shuts behind the person when the trap's triggered, and the door in front with traps, turrets, shotgun traps, whatever, stays open? And I've built that circuit in here, so I'm just going to go in here. This is all the, this is the circuit here. So I'm just going to arm the trap. Turn that on. So the, the trap is set now. I'm just going to try and jump over that pressure pad. Okay, so you'd run in the base. This door is permanently open until the trap is triggered. And the door in front will be permanently open. As well as this open door shutting for, for good. It won't open again. So the person runs in, steps on a pressure plate. That door is permanently shut now. And this door is open for about 100,000 seconds, I put it to. Um, you can put more in there, but that will be open for a very long time. That timer is actually moving, although you can't see it because of the, the value that I've put into it. This is the circuit, and I'll go over now how to build it. Okay, firstly, if you can hear any background noise, there's a massive thunderstorm going on at the minute, so apologies if you can hear it. Okay, so we've got our battery and the master switch that I have in every single circuit because it's just easier to manage your power. And we've got that switch feeding into a splitter. Now I call this the main splitter because that is the one the initial power supply comes into. So we've got a splitter here which is also powering another splitter. So we've got two splitters. We've got two timers. We have one memory cell and two door controllers. Uh, one here and one there. And the pressure pad under there. I'll just pick up these sleeping bags so we can look at the circuit. Okay, from the main splitter, we're going to power another one. We're going to have one of the power outs on the main splitter into the power in on a memory cell. Another power out on the main splitter into the bottom of a timer. The set from the power cell into the top of that same timer. The reset of the power cell goes into the power out of the pressure pad. And this is another switch which I call the main switch because it uses all three inputs on the on the actual item itself. So the inverted output of the memory cell goes into the toggle on of the main switch. And the main switch powers the door controller for the door you want to open and stay open. The input is just from a, an output on the splitter. And the, another output on the splitter is used to power the pressure pad. Now, with this timer here, the value is set to 1, but because it's using this memory memory cell here, you can kind of set it 1 or 0, on or off, yes or no, true or false. So the logic is you turn the trap on and the door doesn't open until you flick this switch here. The trap is now set, the switch turns off, but because it's using this memory cell, it's keeping the door open until that pressure pad is stood on, this door shuts, that door opens, old mate's dead through the traps behind the door there. Now a little flaw, I wouldn't call it a flaw with this base, is that when the trap is set and the pressure pad is stepped on, shutting this door that is going to remain open for 100 million seconds and rearming the trap does nothing because this switch is still counting down from 100 million um, you can just break the power and then put it straight into the back of a splitter again to kind of rearm it and then it will work again but to get around it I will just put a switch in there so you hook the switch up to that timer switch into the output, turn it on Set the trap, trap set, flick the switch and then turn it back on. That would be the quickest way of resetting this door. And that is pretty much your trap explained, Gabriel. Now with this switch to reset this door there may be another way around it, but that's just how I thought up of how to do it. And obviously you would hide this pressure pad with, with sleeping bags is, is probably the best thing to use or a rug, uh, a bear rug you know, anything just to cover it up 
and obviously you'd have this entire circuit at the back of your base somewhere you wouldn't have it on display so I hope that answers your question it's a bit more of an advanced circuit so I'll just stand here while I talk for the rest of the video so you can have a look at it and pause the video or whatever you need to do if you have any questions about it just leave a comment and I'll answer them alright thank you for watching you know what to do if you like the video and I'll see you next time